Hey there, folks, and welcome to day four of Summer of DX 2016. Today we are playing a game called Zion. This was gifted to me on Steam by Frozen Alchemist, so a very big thank you to them for that. And <laughs> I'm looking at this now, and <laughs> the message they typed uh, for the gift was 0% positive reviews. <laughs> Apparently, when this came out, it had 0% positive reviews, and from what I've seen of this game, just playing it for like two minutes, it deserves 0% positive reviews. In fact, I think this might be a very short DX Plays because this game is so fucking god-awful. Not only is it horrendous just from a game standpoint, but it's also like really unstable. Uh, the first time I tried to play it, I pressed a new game here, and the fucking thing crashed. So, um, let's hope it doesn't this time, and let's hope it actually functions as a, as a product should. So let's get into it. <laughs> I can't get over that this is the main menu, and you still have, uh, Zion. Okay, hold on, we're here now. Choose language. English, I, I, I'm gonna, I don't know what this, I'm gonna assume it's Russian. I don't know, boys. Um, okay, this is another thing that's totally retarded about this game, is that, um, this is the, uh, this is the video config menu that should be, you know, in settings, and it is in settings, so I don't know why they have it here, but let's just start. I think I have all the settings, uh, good. We're running at a crisp... 12 frames per... S no, that's not 12. No! 11! And by the way, look at this neat trick. This is uh, supposed to be the start menu, right? And I can still see my cursor on the screen, which I couldn't before, and that's fucking annoying. But, watch this. You hear that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's me firing my gun in-game. And I just reloaded, so now let me fire again. Holy shit, this looks fucking awful. Yeah, you can fire your gun. Yeah, see, and you just got a you got a glimpse of the character model there. Uh, this is this is oh my fucking god, this is absolutely horrendous. I mean, <laughs> after a rare artifact was stolen from the complex space station. The Earth was invaded by a race of robotized aliens. <laughs> I couldn't even read the entire fucking thing. Human armies were no match for the invader, losing city after city over the course of many months. Eventually, the humanity... The humanity founded Zion. See, I, what the fuck? This seemed to be the only way to defeat the enemy. Usually, a city is assigned a single agent. And here we are. But, uh... Okay, here we go, because this, we need, we need to read this. All right, communications established, it's one way only, so I'll do the talking, okay. Uh, okay, your task is to infiltrate the city, be careful, stay under the radars. If the bots spot you, there's no losing them. You can take them down, but only when necessary. That's the, O. Oh, that's the, O oh, disable the, I'm gonna assume that's being clipped off the fucking screen. Disable the generators one by one. There should be seven of them. Seven main ones, that is. And seven auxiliary ones. Click the B on your handheld. There's the list. The main ones are named. The auxiliaries are marked as takedown. You don't have to disable them in any particular order. Improvise. Now, this is what I need to see. God damn it, they never gave you a decoder, did they? Those half... Oh my god, okay. There should be a decoder in the city, though. It used to belong to another agent, the one who didn't exactly succeed. Now, you should get into the nine-story building right next to the tower, the one with the blue banner and the road cone scattered. Okay. Uh, ship in the sky above the city. Uh, okay. Right shift. Invulnerability, 10 seconds. Caps lock, slowing down time. Okay. Okay, now my mouse cursor is off, is off the screen. Uh, let's see something. Oh my god! Oh my god! That looks so aw- Oh god! 
Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I have to hold up. I can't. I can't fucking do this. This looks so fucking awful. Um, I think it's effects. You got to put the effects to low because this is just fucking terrible. I don't know. Unreal Engine. Come on, please. Okay, there we go. Now we have to get to the building next to the tower. Nine story. Apparently there's road cones next to it. Um, if you haven't noticed, the game looks absolutely fucking horrendous. Uh, and I've I've said absolutely horrendous uh, before in this video, but I, I mean, there's no other way to describe it. This looks worse than fucking the digital homicide games. This looks worse than... I, I would say that this even looks worse than Big Rigs. Big Rigs looks fucking better than this. It's awful. Now, road cones. We have to get to the building with the road cones. The one with the blue banner. Now, there's no map. Uh, there's no active map. Certainly not an actual map. You just have this handheld thing that tells you your objectives. Except it doesn't fucking tell you where the objectives are. So you kind of just have to... Kind of just have to... Uh, move around the city, navigate around this horrible looking city to find out where you have to go. Uh, there's one of those robots over there. Um, you don't want to go near them. They will just kill you. Um, here's a tank. There's some cars. Uh, that's not where I was supposed to be going. It's apparently a very, oh shit. Okay. We have to stay away from those robots. Um, and sometimes they'll just pop out of nowhere and you're bound to die. Uh, before, when we started the video, uh, what the fuck? What is this? The, the stairs are going into the ground. This door doesn't even look like... Oh my god. I mean... Oh shit, here we go. Oh, it spotted me. Time to run. What the fuck? Why isn't it moving to the right? There we go. Okay, nine-story building. Where is this? There's another one of those fucking things over there. Here's the thing about this. Uh, you can try taking these fuckers down, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, it's just not gonna happen. And I don't know why, but this game is so awful. What the fuck? Did I kill it? I guess I did. Uh, crisp 13 frames per second right now. But what I was gonna say is, when you reload, the screen, like, the field of view goes crazy. I don't know why. It just does. Oh my god. Seven frames per second. There's another fucking robot. Oh, Christ. This is being sold on Steam right now. This is, this is incredible. The fact that something like this can be sold on Steam. It's just... Absolutely incredible. They didn't even bother texturing the cargo on these things. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Jump. And I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Because I haven't found the fucking hospital. Hey look, it's a big rig. <laughs> oh my god. I'm stuck. I'm gonna die now. No, apparently not. I'm good. There's another one. Uh, here's another one, I think. What the fuck? Oh, here's another one. I'm just attracting you. You are dead, man. Press M to respawn. I can't believe this. I, I mean, I've played some shit. I've played some shit. But this is, this has to take the cake. This is one of the worst. If this came out this year, this is the worst thing I've played all fucking year. And I just pressed M to respawn. Uh, okay, thank God it respawned me because sometimes it just, it doesn't. Sometimes it will just, uh, sometimes it will just crash. Like it did last time. Uh, two crashes so far. By the way, we're, we're here now. We're just, you know, just walking. No, oh, no, not walking because I clipped through the fucking mesh. This is ridiculous. I... And I'm not going over there because there's water over there and it's very difficult to get out of the water. Um, is this the building I'm supposed to be going into? I don't know. This doesn't look like nine stories. There's no fucking blue banners. What is this? Oh, this is a generator. 
need decoder. Oh shit. Oh my god. It it brushed against my arm and I guess I dropped dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try this one more time because this is this is I I can't like I said, I can't believe how fucking awful this is. By the way, is it still fucking next to me? By the way, this game has lean. Lean where you can actually fucking shoot. That's incredible. I mean, I... Oh, right. Okay, there's another weapon. Um, you're, you know how you now have a rocket launcher, which I'm gonna assume is useless. What the fuck? I aimed it over there. And it exploded here. This is... This is unbelievable. This is unreal. That's a great way of describing it, considering that this runs on Unreal Engine 4. I... Speechless. I'm speechless. I can't fucking believe this. Let me reload. This looks like a game from fucking 2003. Like, that's what it looks like. This, this looks like a game from 2003. A terrible looking game from 2003, because there are games from 2003 that uh, their visuals still hold up. This does not. This this looks horrendous. I can't believe this was made with Unreal Engine 4. I can't believe this game was fucking made at all. I I have no luck finding the fucking tower. Wait a minute, is that it over there? That has to be the tower they're talking about. Let's try to get over there. And by the way, there were footsteps playing before and now they're not now. Now all you can hear is the sound of the guy thudding onto the floor. It's absurd. It's awful. Where did that place go? I guess we have to get through here. And by the way, we're not going to make it through here because this is the uh, the death of uh, frame zone where I was chugging along at a 7 frames per second or something like that. The further you get into the city, the worse the frame rate gets. It's un unbelievable. And there's no enemies. I haven't found a single one, but that's a good thing. Um... Sound design is awful. Frame rate is awful. What the fuck is that? 13 frames per second. 11 frames per second. What the fuck is that? This looks horrendous. You are dead? What the fuck? You are dead for what? Okay, we gotta, we gotta see about this. I gotta, I gotta see if, if, if you can even pass that. Okay, we're in the same room from fucking before. So now we have to run all that way again. Something about this game is that this game has unlimited sprint. Like there's no sprint meter. There's no stamina meter. But you have to press shift to sprint. I'm not sure why that annoys me as much as it fucking does, but it's like I can understand, and I've I've talked about this a lot, and I, this isn't Summer of DX. This is Summer of DX rants about sprinting in video games. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, I just don't understand why, especially in this circumstance, you wouldn't have an always run option. Maybe the game does, and I just haven't seen it, but. That should be default. If you're in a situation like this where there's no stamina meter and you still have to press a button to fucking run, it should be on by default. Oh shit, boys. Here we go. Here we go with the fucking thing shooting the ice pellets. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I am done with Zion. This game is horrible. This is horrible. Fuck. Thank you guys for watching this video. A very big thank you goes out to Frozen Alchemist for gifting me this game on Steam. 0% <laughs> positive reviews. That's that's amazing. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, you can visit my Patreon. I'll put the Patreon link in the description. Tune in tomorrow for more Summer of DX 2016 content. I, I mean, look, the game's still going. The game's still going. It's like the fucking thing is hovering over me. It's incredible. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys. Peace out.